Um, hello everyone, welcome to today's uh, session. Uh, in today's uh, weekly commentary, uh, this, this is my personal view on US dollar, also known as DXY, and uh, on BTC and gold. So we'll be giving a weekly outlook on this major base. So for the week, we saw how markets dropped down. So for about, uh, uh, say, one, two, three, four, right? One, two, three, four, four, about a month now, DXY has been bearish, right? Which means most of uh, XX USD has been bullish, right? So since that is what we have been having for over four months, uh, four weeks now, I expect somewhat good reaction from here, at least mainly for back before we give that look, at least for the week, I'm expecting market to possibly we read this low, and then we get into this area before we start seeing what the retracement. So what I what I expect for the week is kind of like rejection candle like this, like a pin bar candle, of rejection candle. So I expect market to what give us what reaction the side before we start going lower based on how price is reacting currently. So that's what I expect. Now on daily time frame, we saw how price uh, dropped down right here. So since market dropped down, so the next uh, resistance uh, level, is we'll have this low, which is personal level. All right, we'll have this resistance level. This low was broken. So if, if I'm to pick uh, the resistance level here, in terms of uh, this low, in terms of this particular candle right here, right? So I would pick this uh, close of this uh, bearish candle, which is this level. We'll have this level and this level currently for the short term bearish expansion I expect on lower from this lower time frame. So if you have a buy movement, Okay, I expect market to react off, react off from this you new know, this level before we see price going up. All right. So this is where I expect price to react from for the week on this uh DSY. So we'll have this major area. Yeah? And if you want to refine it, and just like I said, how to refine your PY is very, very important to know how to refine your PY. So you can refine first, you pick your SC candle. Right, though if you are picking the other block here, you would pick this black candle right here. Okay. You will pick this black candle. Okay. This black candle. So since market hasn't tested the other block before, so you can mark out this other block, the support, the high support of it. Right. Then you mark out this. So this is uh I for me, this is high probability PY or high probability SNR, this lower level. So I can do it like this. Though I'm, I will mark this, market decide to react from there. Right? At least it will give us a break of structure before we start expecting a buy, right? So if market react from there, plus lower time frame confirmation, then you look for buy. But if not, this is a particular level where you can expect it to react, react off from, which is what a better POI in terms of what refinement. So now let's look at BTC based on last week uh, commentary, right? On this BTC. Okay, here we have a BTC market reacting from this particular level, and reacting off from this particular level, and you see how price moving upward. So though our current structure range still remain on this low this high they still remain our current structure range now on daily time frame we we'll see how price uh went up take out this external liquidity so we can decide now to what to wipe off most of this noise okay since market has already traded away from this particular area and we have a sharp movement to the outside here since we have this sharp movement so the next area we expect market to trade to is our SC candle, which is this black candle right here. So we have this black candle right here. We'll have a fresh 
resistance level in terms of SNR after marking out your POI. So I will have last structural break, which is from this. This market now has broken structure and we have a smart money footprint or kind of like a sharp movement right here. So what we expect of price is kind of like market to give us what the range structure. Then if we have what break of structure here, then we look for what bearish expansion, the downside based on structure. Though the bearish expansion can be what to this major range, which is this former range before we start looking for that what up movement to continue buying or down movements to make what a new lower low. So that means for the week, we are still bullish. We are still bullish. So areas you can watch out for, for bullish expansion. One is what this resistance support, uh, this resistance level that one supports now because market has already broken it. You see how many times market has tested the level. One, two, three. Market tested, tested it again, it become four. So market tested it first, second, at the time. It reject price three times. This is what a strong level. You notice around that level, that level has had price a lot of times. It has had price almost around here, around here, around here, around here. It's had price a lot. It has had price a lot. So that is the resistance or a support level. Okay, so now we have that level. Then on lower time frame, let's say on a um on one hour time frame, you see how price is reacting currently. So market is the market look like what it's heading or is trying to what create a higher high. Since that is what market is currently giving us, then we just watch out for price to find that. Then we continue trading the green structure. So expect something like this that to create a higher high here, or we expect price to what come down, trading to this level and what. Continue buying from balance, likely from this each one balance. All right. So this is where I expect price give us that work movement. But if market, let's say for example, it first what get to this high, if it first gets to this high, then I will expect it to watch at least to induce liquidity around here before continuing going up. So the inducement it can what it can happen. The inducement can happen around this level. Okay. Or it can happen at this support level. So these are the two levels I expect the market to what to react from. So that is that on this BTC. Now we have uh, good. So good is quite clear. All right, it's quite clear. So on this H one, we are still bullish on good. Right, we are still bullish, making a higher high. So market now what came to this range because the last structural range is this. This each one time frame, higher high, higher low, right? Good. So we have this higher high, higher low in terms of internal structure, okay? In terms of internal structure, it came into this imbalance right here. Continue. So you have this internal structure continuation. So on on H uh, four or daily time frame, this line you are actually seeing here, the higher time frame structure, which is this. Okay. So. Since market is now what? Reacting off from this imbalance of this internal structure range. This internal structure range. So that is a clear area where market can what? Give us what? Buy continuation from. I have a PY right here. So which is this. Market would give us some range structure on lower time frame. Higher, high, higher, low, higher, high. Then trading to this level plus what? A reason to sell with what? A shift of structure right here. Then we look to what? To sell to this major structure ring before we expect maybe some lower low price. If not, then if market not give us any reason to buy, any reason to sell, then we expect what buy continuation outside for market to what continue making a higher high. And that is what I expect of gold for this week. And that is all on a DXY, gold and BTC. So so I'll be sharing more insightful daily view on major pairs within the week on my telegram channel so look see you all within the week